Certainly it's cold, isn't it? I'll see you next Sunday. Okay. God bless you. God bless you today, Mother. Enjoy. This just came in. All my other agents are in the field. Oh, come on, Joe. I've got another appointment I've got to be at. Well, now you've got two. Don't take it personally, Joanne. I don't take anything personally. I'm concerned. Failing to report for duties out of character for the captain. It being President's Day, I'd hoped it was a case of getting back late from a long weekend. Mm -hmm. Now it's been three days. Here we are. Thanks. Did anybody call here for her? Yesterday. Her husband. We assumed she was on her way to work. We searched her room at the BLQ together last night. He's pretty upset. They don't live together? They've had some problems. Bob seems to think they'll work through it. He's a good man. Former Marine. Teaches special ed now. Meet me at the BOQ in 10, okay? Right. All right. Captain Jackson. Yes, ma'am. What can you tell me about Darnell Russell? Oh, she's a great person. We were in Officer's Basic together. Do you know where she is? Any reason she might disappear? I mean, was she having any personal problems that you know about? Well, she and Bob were separating. Last time I saw her, I helped her move some stuff into the bachelor officer's quarters and put the rest in storage. You'll be okay? What else can she do to me? She's all right, ma'am. Captain Russell's an exemplary officer. Okay. Thank you. Rick, box up anything important.
Tell you, if I had an alpaca coat, I'd sure as hell be wearing it in this weather. Let me give you a hand. You folks leave no stone unturned. That's why they pay us a medium buck, sir. Do you have any enemies, sir? The whole battalion's worried about her. You saw for yourself. Is she depressed, sir? Suicidal? No, ma'am. Not Captain Russell. Alan on? Do you recognize this handwriting? It's Captain Russell's. Was she close to someone with a drinking problem? She never mentioned it. But that's the last thing you'd want your CO to know about. So what do you think, Rick? I don't know. Butler in the drawing room with the candlestick? Hey, uh, wait a minute. That's Darnell's stuff. Who are you? I'm her husband. Who are you? Uh, I'm Agent Jensen, Mr. Russell. This is Agent Grimm. Oh, okay. I I'm sorry. I just never met a female NIS agent before. But I guess you ladies are everywhere now. <laughs> Would you uh, care to step outside and talk? Sure. Check you later. I'll see you back at the office. Did you get this one? Yeah. Thanks. <sighs> when was the last time you saw your wife? Sunday afternoon. Mr. Russell, what was your wife doing when you last saw her on Sunday? It was hell. When I went over to help Darnell clean the family quarters, all I wanted was for us to get back together. Where's the paint? Darnell. You're right. I never thought I'd say this, but... We need to do this. We need some space. You know, maybe we could start dating again. Recapture some of the romance. Get past all the day-to-day -day stuff of living together. I mean, I know I can be a jerk sometimes, but... I'm the jerk that loves you. It's not about... I know you love me. It's been crazy. See, when you're a civilian and your spouse leaves, you lose your home, too. Have you vacated the family quarters yet? Still trying to get it cleaned up for inspection. You said you and your wife painted this room. Uh, no. Um, there was a mix-up over who would get the paint, so Darnell walked back to the exchange to buy the paint, and she never came back. She walked? The weather was miserable on Sunday. What can I say? Marines are tough. Mr. Russell, can you account for your whereabouts on Sunday? Oh, sure. Um, I came back from a teacher's retreat Sunday morning. We like to plan those things for long weekends. I teach Down Syndrome kids, so there's always new stuff to learn. I left early because Darnell needed this place painted for inspection. I went through my Mr. Fix-It stage when we first moved in. And then Darnell changed her mind and decided she hated the color, even though she picked it herself. So Darnell walked back to get the paint. I waited here a couple of hours. Tried to call her at the BOQ, and then I went back to the room I'm renting and showered and changed and drove up to Pennsylvania to see my folks. 
I'll need a statement for the file. You mind coming to headquarters? Uh, just let me close up here. Anonymous phone calls, the race thing. So I bought Darnell a gun. I gave it to her right before she left. Did you report the threats? I don't put much faith in military investigations. Nothing personal, Miss Jensen, but it's like I told Darnell when I bought her the gun. If you have a real problem, you can deal with it point blank and make sure you're the one left standing. Boy, I would love a cup of coffee. Uh, if it's not too much trouble. No. Help yourself. I logged his stuff. Does he look like a worried husband to you? Mr. Russell, Agent Grimm will take your statement. We just need something on Mr. Russell's whereabouts on Sunday. For the record. Okay? Any leads from the husband yet? He's, uh, he's giving a statement now. I think you should observe. I'll meet you in there, okay? Right away. Wizard, listen, I need a printout of all calls made from Captain Darnell Russell's family quarters last week. Here's the number. And, uh, also check your credit cards for activity, all right? Okie dokie. Thanks. told me she was missing, but it didn't seem to matter to him. I have no idea where she is. Let me give you my number in case she tries to get in touch with you, Mrs. Lewis. You can call me any time, day or night. It's 555-0199. I don't know how, but I'm sure that Bob had something to do with this. So you have my number. I'm the senior investigative agent here. And, ma'am, I just want you to know that I'm making this my personal case. So we had all that trash to clear out. Um, sometimes I think marriage is just another word for two people collecting junk. I hear you. Where'd you dump it? Uh, the dumpster back of the exchange. Uh, northeast corner of the parking lot. That's probably illegal, but uh, it's just so damn easy. You're going to give me a ticket. Not my jurisdiction. <laughs> I don't know if this is relevant or not, but um, Darnell and I had sex in the kitchen right before she left. You ever hurt your wife, Bob? Um... Now, why would I kill my wife? I love her. How long have you been married? Two years. How about you? I want to search the base now. I think he killed her. What's your evidence? Besides his attitude, nothing solid yet. Don't let your instinct cloud your objectivity, Joanne. 
It's not just instinct, it's years of experience. You're on. Fifteen D, nothing. Fine. Proceed to sixteen D. Roger that. I want to check that dumpster myself. You said to dump the garbage? Yeah, possibly his wife's body. Corner of the parking lot. Right here. Joanne. Bob's lying. Are you arresting him in connection with? Excuse me. I'm going to check out the paint department at the exchange before it closes. Now, you're sure you didn't see either one of them come in on Sunday? Uh, Sunday was so cold. I mean, I only had five customers. I counted. Okay. Thanks. So, uh, you're like a detective and a Marine? We're civilians employed by the Naval Investigative Service. We're federal agents. Cool. I like older women. So does my husband. We are assuming that everything in Mr. Russell's statement is a lie. What have you got? Well, if Darnell went to Tahiti, they don't take American Express. Minimal credit card activity. Kmart, Piggly Wiggly, nothing since the Friday before she disappeared. Got phone calls from the uh, family quarters. Darnell's mother, her sister. A call to Vicki Roth. She teaches with Bob, rents him a room. Now. Sister was supposed to help Darnell clean the quarters, but had to waitress. Darnell had told her that she didn't want to be alone with Bob. What about the gun? Bob bought a 25 caliber Blackbird pistol last Friday, just like he said. Completely legal. Why? The man knows firearms. He was a Marine. That gun is a joke. He asked for that model specifically, even though the clerk told Bob it was a bad choice for self-defense. Inaccurate except at close range. Think about the gun, people. There's some kind of clue here. A friend of Donnell called, Rochelle Marles. She's upset about Donnell. She's coming in to talk. You make sure I'm there. Okay. Well, we are on delicate ground here. We do not have a body yet, despite your commendable efforts last night, and we have no proof of murder. Our suspect, Bob Russell, has not yet been charged, but he's out there, and he's certainly going to be watching us, so be careful. As you can see, we have company on this one. The FBI is here to assist with the civilian aspects of the case. Joanne? You know Agent Lars? Hi, Ed. Joanne, the girl's just here to help. This is your show. It's very professional of you. You can start by interviewing Bob, his family, co-workers, and my people will follow up on the military leads. Now, what I really need is a crack at those famous FBI labs. I need forensics, a serologist. Agent Yoki, Agent Fox, Ms. Jensen. Good to meet you, gentlemen. It's a pleasure. Red yesterday. I thought they were paint stains. Solvent or cleanser applied with a brush in a circular manner. You wouldn't have gone to all the trouble unless it was incriminating. Now, if it's blood underneath, can you still find it? We'll see. You got another one of those?
He killed her. We don't know for sure yet. He bugged her car. Darnell took it in for a tune-up, and the guy found the tape recorder. She freaked. We spent hours talking about it. Why couldn't I see who he really is? Does it matter, honey? Uh-huh. It does to me. Is it because he's white? Because I think I would have seen through a brother. <laughs> I just thought this man was the answer to everything in my life, my... Prince Charming. And that makes you mad? Yes. I'm a Christian, but when I think about how Bob has played me, I want to get even. I mean, you could be standing with him outside soaking wet, and he'd convince you that it ain't raining. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. You're right. I got to move forward. I just love the wrong man. It happens. Doesn't mean my life is over. Marriage made in hell, huh? Oh, usual macho BS. He'd treat her like dirt affairs. But he'd never let her be the one to end it. I've been worried since Sunday she didn't call. We talk every day. You've been a good friend to her. That's what Al Anon's full of women who try to help. Darnell sure tried to help Bob. Till he tried to run her off the road last month. Well, did you see it? Were there witnesses? If you knew Darnell, you'd do anything for her. She's that kind of person. She, she's helped me so much. Darnell's always helping people. You know, she's a deacon in her church. No, I didn't. Deacon Johnson, let the finance committee know we're meeting tomorrow night. God bless you, Deacon Johnson. God bless you, Mother. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Enjoy that singing until Christmas will sing tomorrow night. Bless you, dog. See you again next week. Agent Jensen, is it? Yes, Reverend. Darnell's a strong woman. She's a great role model to the youth, and everybody here loves her. Even her husband? Well, I don't know him too well. He's only worshipped here once or twice. Reverend Lowell, I need solid proof to implicate Bob Russell. Well, you're not going to find church people lining up to air her business to strangers. Darnell was a private person, and I suppose she has to be rising up in the Marine Corps. Reverend, I strongly believe Darnell Russell is dead. But you don't know that for certain, do you? And what you're asking... Let's just say we're praying for her safe return. Let's clear up a few points, Bob. <clears throat> we searched the dumpster at the exchange. Didn't find any of the stuff you said you left there. Well, gee, there's no lock on it. Hey. I got zip. How about you? Well, Darnell's a saint and Bob's a pig. Is that enough to arrest him? Where's Bob White? So how's Elliot Ness doing? Well, I know one thing. I know the NIS couldn't find their butts with both hands, but I must say I'm a little disappointed in the FBI. You want me to do your work for you, too? No need to get hostile. No, there's not. My wife has been missing for a week, and all you can tell me is that there's no trash in the dumpster. I can tell you more than that. We know you bugged Darnell's car. Tried to run her off the road. You're a stalker. And we know stalkers turn into murderers. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Look, I keep an eye on her because she's my wife. Wouldn't you cover for your wife? You ever been in the core? I have. It's not just a job. It's your whole damn life. And you had better be perfect. Darnell fooled a lot of people for a long time. But inside, inside she couldn't take it. She couldn't take the pressure. Bob, what really happened on Sunday? Bob, it's time, man.
What if I... If I said that Darnell was acting crazy? Well, upstairs is clean. Are you coming with the... Uh... hell with the inspection. You can't even move out of your house without the damn Marines breathing down your neck. Now, baby, we, we have to do this. I'm so tired. Everything. The whole crazy life. All right, Darnell. Look, you can blame me for everything. Our marriage, the fact that you never feel good enough. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Honey, maybe you ought to talk to somebody. Who can I talk to? My CO? Smart move. Church don't want to know about it. I'm the great role model for black youth. Captain Darnell Russell. And I got where I am because I'm so perfect. Look at us. Sitting in the middle of this mess. Don't we look perfect? Why the hell you ever want to be married to me anyway? Oh, honey. I married you because I love you. being charged with anything at this point? No. Well, then I can leave. Wouldn't it be better to keep telling me what happened, Bob? <laughs> well, I was just speculating. Jensen today. Got a nice butt on her for a white girl. Hard day at the office, honey. You know, you're doing a good job of ruining my life. My school lays me off after you send the FBI there. Landlady kicks me out after they search her house and impound her car for tests. I really didn't know that borrowing a station wagon to visit my family could be so highly suspicious. Depends on whether you were transporting a body at the time. <gasps> Why didn't you use your truck? You don't like me, do you, Agent Jensen? Is that why you invent crimes to accuse me of? You some kind of a man-hater? You cannot possibly know how I love my wife, what I would do for her. Then why don't you tell me? Why should I? Why should I share my private life with you? What's your problem, Joe? You're not getting any? I am Agent Jensen to you. And I am watching you very closely. You are never going to find anything to charge me with, Joe. Watch me all you want. I'll be watching you.
Yes, Major Richard Jensen, please. He's not here right now. Will you please have him call his wife as soon as he can? Thank you. Can't look at that picture, can't throw it away. I was right there the night she fell in love with him. Wish I had that night to do over. Sure you want to be bringing your mama to a fancy affair like this? Mama, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be an officer. <laughs> Captain Lewis. You look lovely. Thank you. Oh, Mama, this is Captain Robert Russell. You must be very proud of your daughter, ma'am. <laughs> I certainly am. Captain, you're embarrassing me. My friends call me Bob. Bob. Well, the Corps is a great life, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll let you get on with your evening. All right. Unless you would uh, care to dance. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll get me some punch. Pleasure meeting you, sir. You too, ma'am. you feel about the marriage? You mean, how did I feel about her marrying a white man? No. Yes, I, I guess that is what I mean. I worried. A black girl can be a, a trophy to the wrong kind of white man. I don't think Darnell ever thought about color. All she saw was that uniform. She loved the Marines. So did Bob. What more could they have in common? She never would say why he left the Corps, but after that, I don't think they had very much in common at all. Cinder blocks sure muffle the sound. He could have shot her, and nobody would have heard. Okay. Here you go. Is 
Sure looks like they're now packed in a hurry. Want to take a few of these to check out, guys? <clears throat> we get hazard pay for that? Okay. I guess it's up to me to take a look at them. Keep searching, guys. We're grasping at straws here. Here you go. Why are you harassing me? Just because I lent Bob Russell my car. Does he always wash your car after he borrows it, Vicky? No, not always. So why do you think he washed it after he borrowed it that Sunday? Because he's a nice guy, and because he was doing me a favor. He did a thorough job. Can't recall ever seeing a car that clean inside. Is he really worth protecting, Vicky? Nice guy, he uses your car to dump his wife's body, but he does take it to the car wash after. How close are you and Bob, really? We're colleagues. I rented him a room. You want us to put you on the witness stand and ask you that? Maybe you would be more comfortable talking in the privacy of my office. Vicki Darnell Russell's body is missing. She didn't even get a funeral. She's the one who was harassed. And you speak up for her if you know something, because she can't. Have a nice day. Tough case. Nobody. All those forensics tests, and we still haven't found any blood yet. I don't envy you. I know she is sleeping with Bob. The man is incapable of having a relationship with a woman that isn't sexual. Why do women go for bastards like that? I hope you don't expect me to know. This is the most likely route Bob would have taken to Pennsylvania. You think Darnell was with him? Well, I doubt very much she was alive that Sunday, but we still have to ask. It is possible he killed her off base. Mm -hmm. Never been more sure of anything in my life. She's a regular. Stops by every Sunday night for the pick four. Pays by check with a military ID. So you're saying she was in last Sunday? Mm-hmm. This girl's always here. She's got lotto fever. Ma'am, does her military ID look something like this? Mm -hmm. That's it, exactly. Mm -hmm. See, this is a dependent's ID. My husband's in the Corps. This woman is a Marine captain. Her military ID is a completely different color. Mm. Are you calling me a liar? No, I am just asking you to take a closer look. Now, this woman lives in Virginia. That would be an awfully long drive just to buy a Pennsylvania lottery ticket. Well, maybe she feels lucky. People get funny about the lottery. Thank you so much. Sure. Ah, if Darnell was alive that Sunday night, she certainly was hungry. We got her eating at six different places, changing her clothes. It doesn't make sense. Interracial couples must have passed through here all the time. These people act like they'd be less surprised to see Martians. Must have been really hard on Darnell. Never thought about it. Say I'm right. Say you're gonna do it. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm sorry I ruined Christmas. I don't care about Christmas. I care about... Leave Aunt Darnell alone. I want to try it out, Mama. You take that video someplace else. It's him. It's him. Get the hell out of here, Where man. Is Where is my hot shot, little officer? You're not welcome in this home. You get your hands off me! Bob, please, it's Christmas. You get your black butt in the car now! Take that no. talk out of here, no. man! You best stay out of my business! Shut that thing off! Shut it off! Turn it out! Joe? 
You okay? This is Rochelle Marles. Mrs. Marles, please, sit down. So, what can you tell me? We're in Okinawa. My husband's a captain, and I, uh, we went through Quantico. And I looked up Darnell right before, well, before. It's okay, Mrs. Marles. So you were with Darnell that weekend? Yes. Hey, nice to see you laugh. Condo? Bob doesn't know. You're leaving him. I got the down payment right here. Oh, girl. <laughs> I bet you thought I was too hard-headed to listen to y'all, but I'm ready, finally. And I want to celebrate. Well, how about dinner? I'm buying. Choir practice. What about tomorrow? You gonna be here Sunday? You got a date? Meantime, let me hang out with you and catch up. I miss you. Oh. I'm just gonna hand him these papers when I meet him to paint the quarters. What if he goes off on you? My sister's coming. Besides, there'll be lots of folks around. You think he'll sign separation papers? Lincoln freed the slaves. What choice does a man have? <sighs> she was so happy when she got those separation papers. <laughs> it's the last time I saw her. Does any of this help at all? You just gave me a motive for murder. But legally, I need more than hearsay evidence. Did anyone in the family actually see Bob hit Darnell or come right out and threaten her? No. No. Jocelyn, Bob is the only person I've talked to with anything but loving things to say about Darnell. I don't want him to get away with this either. I know about Bob. I saw a tape of him drunk at Christmas. What do you know? I used to jog this road to make sure she was all right. <laughs> Can't break the habit. You say Bob was uh, drunk at Christmas? My wife had a baby shower. Darnell got up in the middle, called home. I could see she had to check on him. Oh, hold on, Darnell. I can handle him. You belong back at your car. Oh, just, just. What the hell are you doing? I'm just making a few home improvements. We could stand a few home improvements, couldn't we, Darnell? Bob, please. Don't you do her yet, Captain? She only does it with officers now. Stop it! Hell, I can't even get her to give me a... That's okay. That's okay. I got something for that. I got something for you, Darnell, baby. Huh. Hey, you want your service revolver? Whoa, man. Hey, whoa, whoa, Cap. Hey! Man, look, this... This whore. She ain't worth that much trouble, right? Huh? You're right. 
You're right, brother. Right. Ooh. May I call you brother? <laughs> <laughs> right. What you drinking there, warrior? Oh, what you got, devil dog? That's a damn good question. Yeah. You hold on. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think about our coat? Damn! Captain, would you testify in court that Bob Russell threatened his wife with a gun? I just wanted to protect her, in case Darnell came back. Guess I've really been protecting Bob, huh? I wish you'd known her. Yeah. I'm almost starting to feel like I do. Used to find Darnell here when she was troubled. I guess I'm trouble too. I found a witness to Bob threatening her. It's a pretty good day's work for me, but um, all I feel is sorrow. When you come to my church, that's a sign to speak the truth. Let me be a witness, too. Ma'am, I'm closing up in here. Darnell, what are you doing in here? I almost locked you in. I couldn't have no place else to go. Well, come on in the office. I'll fix you some tea. Ain't you hot in this big old coat? Didn't want nobody to know, in case Darnell came back. But she's dead, ain't she? Only Bob Russell knows exactly what happened. And God, he's a witness, too. Agent Jensen, it's Vicki Roth. I, I think it's time we talked. Could you come over? I was scared to mess up us getting back together. I should never have gotten involved with Bob. It's just... I was going through such a crazy time. I thought he was a gentleman, but... Um, we were driving, and all of a sudden, he turns to me, and he says, don't be surprised if my wife is missing in six months. I know places in the woods where I grew up, old mines. You could dump a body, and nobody would ever find it. you got to show for it. It's over. You want to call in your people, I can't stop you. This case is far from closed. Come on, Ed, we have got momentum now. We've got witnesses, a pattern of domestic violence, guns, bruises, threats, Bob bragging about dumping her body. Even if you get a DA to press charges, you'll get laughed out of court. You'd see that if you weren't blinded by sympathy for Darnell. 
You're too close to this, Joanne. You've lost all professional perspective. Nobody called me unprofessional, Let it Ed. go, Joe. They were getting divorced. My friends always say the husband's a monster. It's taken with a grain of salt. I've seen it. Judge will rule out all evidence of marriage refusing to try a divorce instead of a criminal proceeding. Maybe they're not married. Maybe you got something. But you know domestic violence gets dismissed. And you got nothing else. I'm sorry. You got no case, and I'm not giving my men pneumonia. Of course not. All right! Listen up! We're going in! I know Bob Russell killed his wife. It's a professional thing to do, Ed! It's to charge him with murder. I'm gonna make those charges stick with or without her body. They're giving up the search. Come inside, Bobby. Supper time. Can't win them all. Not like we don't have other cases to work on. Hey, you did your best. Yeah. Come for supper? Misery loves company. We could have a seance and pray Bob gets hit by a truck. <laughs> no. I need to think. Tough decision. Drive you home? No. So empty with Richard away. Listen, you have a good night, okay? You tell everyone hi for me. What are you doing here? I got an unexpected chance to take leave. I, I got a lift. I, I wanted to surprise you. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. God. I thought you'd be glad to see me. Well, I am. I just... Not get these FBI interviews out of my brain. Look here. Bob jokes with his brother, ask him to buy dynamite in Pennsylvania where it's cheaper so he can blow up his wife. Must be getting to everybody, huh? I don't know. I feel like I have to watch myself so everyone doesn't think I'm on some feminist crusade to avenge battered women. And what's wrong with that? 
It's as if he knew I would never find Darnell's body. I mean, it's a contest, Richard. It's him or me. The bastard thinks he is so clever and untouchable. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Now, as you know, federal law does not require physical evidence in a murder trial. Darnell was last seen on base, so we can assume she was killed on federal land. Bob Russell's first mistake. But this case is not going to be tried in a Virginia state court. It's going to be tried in the United States District Court, where you don't need to produce a body. Are you saying that this case is still active, Agent Jensen? This case is still active. Hypothesis. What do we have to support it? Bob's playing with us. He doesn't care when he contradicts himself. I guess he thinks he's home free without a body. Mm -hmm. Makes a point of coming to the authorities rather than waiting to be informed his wife's missing. He volunteers that he gave Darnell the gun so he doesn't have to account for the whereabouts of the probable murder weapon. He kills her on the weekend so the leads are cold by the time she's reported missing. Plants a story about racial threats to explain a disappearance. I was home to Pennsylvania for less than 24 hours. Perfect alibi. His family establishes a time of arrival too soon to have dumped the body along the way. But he could have arrived several hours later. Bet you could find a hole in that alibi, Ed. He buys muriatic acid to bleach away the blood. He's researched the crime. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as a perfect crime, gentlemen. Let's start crawling down Bob Russell's throat. But you were living on base last February. Oh, yeah. Been saving up to buy a house since forever. Finally did it. Hmm. <laughs> I saw him once or twice. He was driving a station wagon. Can you describe the vehicle? Gosh, I, I don't know much about cars, but it was blue. Did you see him that Sunday? Yeah, around 5.30 that night. Can you be sure of the time and date? It was my daughter's birthday. It had just gotten dark. I, I felt sorry for the guy. I've done so much moving myself. I thought I'd bring him some cake. It didn't take me long, but when I got outside, the car was gone. There goes Bob's alibi. Says he left for Pennsylvania in the afternoon. Now we got him on base after dark. Mm -hmm. With the station wagon backed up the door, load in a body. Tour of the area on the hour. Seemed like Captain Russell was on that phone every time I passed. So the last time you saw her was on this phone here? She could have walked out the back stairs and never come back. And that was uh, Sunday? Yes, ma'am. Bob called about 10 p.m., left her a message. She was still on the phone, so I went back and tacked it on the message board. Later, it was gone. What did that message say? Love you, call me. Must be hard to remember every detail on a job like this, huh? Forget about it. Half the time, I'm pulling double shifts. Did they just run into one another? Hell, I woke up last week, 5 o'clock. Didn't know if it's day or <laughs> night. So, when you say that you saw Darnell Russell, could have been maybe Saturday night? Day before she was missing? I think it was Sunday. You know, private fields, we just want to help. I mean, it's such a shame what happened. Bob is such a, a nice guy. Yeah. He always brings me smokes or food when he stops by. It means a lot when you're tied to desk duty. He's an interesting guy. You two must have a lot to talk about. Well, we were both raised country. Miss going hunting. We go drinking sometimes. Just saying. It's good to have a friend. Especially after all that Bob's been through. Mm-hmm. His wife's a nice person and all, but Bob's like a Marine's Marine, you know? Semper Fi, man. And what the court did to him just because he married a... black girl. Wow. You two must be close if he told you all about that. We've been through some things together. <laughs> hey, man. Don't forget these. Oh, uh, you like them so much, you can't. I can't. 
I can't take these. They're your captain's bar. So? So? You busted your hump getting them. They don't mean something to you? I used to think they did. All I ever wanted to be was a damn Marine. Here's the jokes on me, ain't it? Hey, come here, baby. Look here. Want to be a Marine? There you go. <laughs> Affirmative action. <laughs> record says he resigned his commission. And I thought he was just blasting the NIS to bait us. Check the NIS office where he was last stationed. Tell Wizard I want every shred of paperwork on Bob and every computer on this planet. I'll call you from Pennsylvania, all right? Okay. Have a nice trip. Oh, yeah. Every check deposited from this store every Sunday in February, and not a single one has a military ID endorsement. Maybe I misremembered and she paid in cash. I saw the woman in the picture. That woman is going to be the defense's star witness. Yeah, I got news for you. I can't hear you, Rick. You guys having a party there? <laughs> yeah, you bet we are. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Bob resigned from the Corps, all right. Got smack in the middle of an Article 32 investigation of him down in Louisiana. <laughs> That's terrific. Thank you. Ma'am, he was a Marine's Marine, but he saw too many John Wayne movies. Claimed he'd been passed over for Grenada. Couldn't see there was more to the Corps than carrying a rifle. Bob was an outstanding officer, but he engineered his own downfall. Now the booze made him arrogant. He started slacking off, pilfering. Had to relieve him of beauty, finally. Shame. Well, what happened? Started an investigation. Gave him an hour to clean out his desk. He was in shock. Left most of his things behind. Where are those items now? Computer. Murder? What the hell is that? A recipe for murder. Russell, I want to go to the DA. Now, we have intent. Darnell handing him the separation papers the day she disappears. The disc with 26 steps to murder your wife. We have means, the gun he bought, and opportunity, the practically soundproof storage shed. Joanne, I know I disagreed with you on this, but I'm with you now 100%. But, but we need something more. Exactly. We need a plausible scenario of how Bob killed his wife. What about the 26 steps? Is number 16, buy rubber gloves. Number 23, plastic bags over the feet. Number 24, wash the tarp. Bob had all these things from clean the quarters. That would explain why there was so little blood. True, but why wasn't there any blood splatter on the walls? 25 caliber pistols only good at extremely close range. So Darnell Russell, a trained Marine, just stood there while her husband got close enough to shoot her. Psychologically, Bob's also a trained Marine, a hunter, and an efficient killer. He resented Darnell for being the better Marine, despite the fact that she was black and also female. He's got a huge problem with women. I would factor in an element of sexual rage in how he killed her. Agreed, but how'd he do it without leaving more blood? 
Well, chances are with a 25 caliber pistol that the bullet never exited her body. He has played cat and mouse with us from day one. He dropped all those hints about his past tangle with NIS. Maybe he hinted about how he killed her, too. Where's his transcript from his last interrogation? Where's Wizard? Uh, Joanne. Joe. It's getting late. You mind if we take a crack at this first thing in the morning? No, that's, that's fine. Uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow, gentlemen. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. Now, don't tell us what you wish for. Oh, like we don't know already. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, oh! 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 <laughs> we got your trick candles, Joey. Because we know you never give up. Thanks, you guys. It's a biological clock radio. Uh, uh, You're a ticking. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, cuz. Very funny. Oh. Okay. Who wants some more wine? Where's the wine? Relax. Mingle. Uh, well, come on. We're all in the kitchen anyway. Let me help. This looks so great. How's the case going, honey? It's the great. Ace K. Huh? Awful. We are so close, Mom. We actually found a computer disk of Bob's with a file on it called 26 Steps to Murder Your Wife. What? Oh, oh exactly. I mean, is there any doubt that the guy murdered her? Mm. Number six, what to do with the body. Number 20, rehearse. Number 22, no cologne. The only problem is I don't think we'll be able to convince a jury without a plausible recreation of the actual crime. There was... Um, no signs of struggle, and only two little drops of blood. How did he kill her? Just sign the papers. I don't want to fight. Where's the paint? Darnell, let's make love. Like we used to, like the old days. It's over, Bob. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. That's the way you want it. car, try to run her off the road, you're a stalker.
What if I said the gun went off in an unusual place? What if I said the gun went off in an unusual place? Yes, this is Agent Jensen. I need to put calls through to Agent Solars at the FBI and to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Joanne? Ken? Kids already brought me up to speed. I see. Got the case file? Yeah. Must be hard to give up your baby. Not if you win. Don't worry. The case works as solid as Ed says it is, I can pull it off. This will be a big feather in your cap. This could be the first federal trial to lead to a murder conviction with no body, no weapon, no confession. I didn't do this for my career. I'm doing this for Darnell Russell. I see no problem with the existing bail agreement. I'll allow Mr. Russell to remain free on his own recognizance during the trial. I'm now ready to hear any pre-trial motions concerning suppression of evidence. Your Honor, we have a big problem with that computer disk. So you had no search warrant when you took the disk, is that correct? I didn't need a search warrant. Answer the question. No, I did not have a search warrant. Thank you. Why not, Agent Jensen? One, the item was already in the possession of the Judge Advocate General from a prior investigation of Bob Russell. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. For the moment, go on. Well, as you can see from the printout, every other file on that disk is work-related. The disc was issued to Robert Russell for the conduct of United States Marine Corps business. It is government property. It never belonged to him in the first place. Nothing further. You may step down. Your Honor, since Ms. Jensen will not be testifying during the actual trial, will you permit her to remain as a spectator? Granted. Can you give the court a sense of how your computer disk got left behind? We're talking about what was a very difficult day for you, aren't we? It was the worst day of my life. You may confine yourself to your office for one hour. You may pack and take with you any personal items. In one hour, you will report to your quarters and remain confined there until further notice. Yes, sir. Captain Russell, should I call your wife? No, sir. God, no. Mr. Russell, if the computer disk was so important to you, if you considered it personal property, why did you leave it? Am I being court-martialed here again? Uh, Your Honor, clarification. Uh, Mr. Russell was never court-martialed. He resigned his commission. Noted. Nothing further, Your Honor. Uh, redirect, Your Honor. 
Bob, what was on the disc? It was a mystery note. I was writing with my mother. It was an outline. Just fiction. Thank you. As the trial begins, expect the prosecution to rely heavily on the computer disc they battle to admit into evidence. The defense will counter that Captain Darnell Russell has simply gone AWOL. Is Darnell alive or dead? Is Robert Russell a murderer? Or is he a grieving husband still searching for his missing wife? That computer disc. Well, I know he was writing a novel at the time because I gave Bob some of my forensics books for research. Thank you, officer. Your witness. Officer Corwin, how do you know Bob was researching a book, not planning a murder? Objection, Your Honor. Move to strike. Sustained. Did you ever read any of this book? See any pages? No, he was just starting. Then his wife got transferred, and they moved away to Virginia, so. You ever meet Mrs. Russell? No. But you were close friends with her husband, close enough to help him write a book. Bob and I were friends, yes. Close friends? Yes. Lovers? You're under oath, officer. You were lovers, weren't you? Yes, for a while, but Bob made Nothing it Nothing further, Your Honor. I was supposed to be with Darnell when she cleaned out the house. But I had to work at the last minute. If I had been there, Bob, she wouldn't. Dead. Move for dismissal, Your Honor. There's absolutely no proof that Captain Russell is deceased. And I object to this jury hearing that she has from this woman. She moves the case to be dismissed right now. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm the dangerous Bob Russell. Paris Cole. I, I, like I know who you are. Um, Miss Cole, I, I am living a nightmare, and it's my fault. Darnell planned her disappearance and framed me for it. We had a rocky marriage right from the start, mostly my fault. But it's the perfect revenge, isn't it? Of course, the Navy can't possibly believe that my cute black wife could be that smart. So it's simpler just to pin a murder on me, even though there's no body and no weapon. I should have seen it coming. But my mistake was in thinking that since I was innocent, I couldn't possibly be charged. Can you help me, please? Thank you. This is a surprise witness. I need time to prepare. My client's charged with murder, Your Honor. This woman deserves to be heard. Please, please. Continue. I saw Captain Darnell Russell at the mall, standing as close to me as you are. It was April 5th. I remember because I was having lunch with my granddaughter and I wrote it down in my calendar. Are you aware, ma'am, that at the time you saw Darnell Russell, she had been listed as missing for over a month? Well, that's why I noticed her. I had read about her disappearance and it distressed me. Move to dismiss. Captain Darnell Russell is alive. Please, Your Honor, I need a recess to prepare. This is out of the blue for me. Granted. We'll reconvene tomorrow at 10. What the hell is this all about? I don't know. I'm trying to get out of Yes, Agent Grimm, please. It's urgent. One moment, please. Well, I realize this might mess up the case, Ken, but personally, I hope she is alive. Someone has a very vivid imagination. Is it Bob Russell or you, Joanne? Will you tell him I'm waiting? Do you think 
Darnell Russell's capable of framing her husband for her disappearance? No. Why not? What do you know about her? She was smart. She was ambitious. She had tons of friends, people who loved her, who would do anything for her. Like maybe help her get back at Bob? Oh, come on. Why would she go to such an extreme and ruin her career over a piece of dirt like Bob Russell? Maybe she hates him as much as you do. We've got the witness coming in later. We'll see. We'll see. Excuse me. Ma'am, you say that you read in the paper that Captain Russell was missing. Thank you, dear. Yes. Was it this paper here? Well, I believe so. Yes. And, of course, there's this picture here. Such a sweet face. Yes. See, ma'am, this picture went with a different story about a woman joining a local bank, see? And, and Captain Russell's picture is on page 7, where the story continues. Which one of these women do you think you saw? I saw Captain Darnell Russell. <sighs> ma'am, don't you think you could have made an honest mistake? Maybe you skimmed the story on the front page and you assumed that this picture went with that story. I am retired. I do not skim the paper. I read it front to back. <clears throat> Ma'am, may I ask you why you didn't report this to anyone sooner? Well, my husband didn't think she looked like the woman. But even after 38 years of marriage, I think I am still entitled to my own opinion. So your husband was with you? Yes. Well, I saw them posters about her missing. But I didn't feel the woman at the mall resembled her at all. Nothing further, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you may now retire to consider your verdict. Name of War College? Yes, Major Richard Jensen, please. Uh, he just stepped out. Okay, could you just um, tell him to call Joanne when he gets a second? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Nice night. It's a crime to impersonate an officer. Well, come on now, Joe. Is that any way to say hello? Here I am. Man, you've been obsessed with all this time. Hell, you probably think about me more than you do your own husband. Can't even give me a little smile. What do you want? I just want to ask you a question. What are you going to do when the verdict comes in and I get off? I'll be walking around, free. You think you're going to feel safe walking to your car at night, six months from now? You're threatening me? <laughs> Come on, Joe. Give me more credit than that. I was just kind of wondering if you might miss me after all we've been through. Or if you might just feel that I'm somehow always close to you. 
Maybe you're right. Maybe Darnell is dead. Maybe someday you'll even find her body. Would the defendant please rise while the verdict is being read? <clears throat> For the charge of murder, we the jury find the defendant, Robert Peter Russell, guilty. <laughs> Order, please. Would the defendant care to make a statement? Your Honor, I am innocent of this charge. I am a God-fearing man who has never hurt a human being in his life. There are people celebrating in this room today, Your Honor. And for what? Is this America? Where a man can be imprisoned with no proof of a crime? My life, my family's life, the life of my wife's family, all ruined because of a shoddy investigation and a theory. That's what I'm going to jail for. One woman's need to prove a theory. The jury is dismissed with the thanks of the court. This court is adjourned. Congratulations. Justice for Darnell. Thank you, Ken. Mm-hmm. 